Hello. Today we are reacting to Eurovision Junior, and uh, you can present the next uh, act. Hannah. Yes, I think this participant is named Stand Unique, and the song "Back to Life" from UK. Yes, and we haven't seen this. Looks like a girl group, so I'm very looking forward to this. This yes. is the first group this year. Yeah. Um, there's the Netherlands with a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. um, but this one. I hope it's a group. Let's see. Oh, cool. It's like a cartoon. Yeah. Comic. <laughs> Love the theme. Like the font, like the girls, like the vibe. Let's see if we like the song. Okay. Cool sound. The story guitar in the background. Interesting sounds. Very interesting. I get so distracted. I walk right into hell. My hands just start reacting. Very interesting what kind of uh, genre this is. Yeah. It's appealing to me. Huh? And I like the suit. Cool flute. This is cool. Wow. Very good show, like uh, show presence. Of I can't all wait to them. see them live. This is really cool. There's a dance I can see. I can learn. <gasps> oh, cool, cool. Uh, what do you call it? A yeah, cool dance. This is very interesting. So much going on. Different personalities, different styles, all of them nice voices. They're bringing a lot on the table at the same time. Yes. Dance you back to life. Can you imagine? Of course they can. Look at them. Cool dance. Yes. I have no idea what kind of genre this is. Oh, great. This, their voices are nice together. A bit weird mix here of their voices, I think, but... I love their outfits. Yes. Which would you like best? Uh, the one... Uh, to oh, the right. it, it depends. Yeah. I like the, the, the one I like to the, the right the I like the hound's tooth, but also I like the, the full-on dress. Yeah. No, suit from the one in the middle. But I love the hair. Nice! Whoa! <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Okay. UK. I... I Go for did, it. Actually, I did not want this song to stop. It's it's so interesting. That's because, the first this year. Yeah, and I love the the uh, contribution from UK as well, like uh, May Muller. May Muller. Yeah. She was also like my favorite. And they brought dancing, and they brought the same kind of like the music video and the song of May Muller. It wasn't the best live, unfortunately. But the but music, the music video, video and the song in itself. That's great. Yeah, and this as well. I just want to see this this group evolve. And I used to be a fangirl for real for a few like K-pop uh, bands mm -hmm. and groups. So like a song group for me, it just pulls me in. And if you bring 
some dance into it and the rhythm was very like it made you want to dance and also the song no the voices were good maybe not the best harmonizing when they all sang together but then again they're very young still mm. they could maybe find their sound and their place um you do see a lot of um that they evolved a lot with the um oh there's another song group from the uk um what's it called okay anyways yeah but uh i really like this one yeah yeah i think they harmonized great that wasn't like a problem but it was more of the character of their voices coming together i felt like two of their voices kind of laid off in on top of each other competing a bit i think yes exactly it wasn't three complementary voices coming into it they they all did their part, but coming together in a very a cappella setting, it was. I didn't feel like it was three kind of palettes coming together. It was more like two competing, one standing alone. But yes. apart from that, like it's minute details. The show, uh, or at least like the music video, great. The concept, great. Fashion wise, ten of ten. Uh, I I loved how experimental the use and the mixing of the instrument was, that they used the flute. Yes. That is not very usual. Although it is the second time this year that we see that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, it was a fiddle. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. the other one was a fiddle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think they, uh, they did great. It was very interesting uh, to see. It was uh, complex. Yes, simple in like the vibe and the rhythm. Um, I think this will do very well in the final, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, This is a strong duo to be reckoned with. So if they can pull this off live, I think it will be a great vibe because it's almost like this, it's not burlesque, but what is the music genre behind burlesque? I I know what you mean. If you take away the... the... Like the old trumpets uh, and the, the whole vibe is from the is it 1920s? Yeah. Yeah. Like old 1920s. Like uh, uh, some type of like circus. Uh, yes. Um, the golden era. Uh, that's yes. even further behind. I just don't but, know yeah. the word for it. But I, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if an elephant went into the exactly. on stage. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So coming with a ballroom, is it? Maybe. Almost a little bit ballroomish. Whatever it was, I loved it. But it's really cool. Like, I, I really love that they brought this to the stage. And uh, I've been missing it. I love it. It's uh, it's so freeing, those kind of rhythms and that kind of vibe. So it was a really fresh take. I, I really like this. What, what do you guys think? Are you, do you agree with us? Or, I don't know, are you guys familiar with this type of music genre from before? Yeah. Oh, actually, this reminds me of when I... Uh, listened to Billie Eilish when she was only 13 she had the ocean eyes and I remember thinking this is something different this is something new and I want to press repeat Mm. or replay yeah this is a little bit in your ballpark yeah it has a lot of potential to be interesting um and also I'm a retired dancer so anything you can dance to for me always pulls me in Mm. I love the costumes and also their presence. Yeah. Because they seemed very cohesive to be like a group when you think about how how young they are. But again, this is a music video, so they had a lot of takes, so we don't really know. Yeah. But if they can come across as cohesive on stage, that would be a huge plus. And have the cardio to keep up with the dancing and the singing, then I would be very impressed. Yes. That was the challenge last year, I think, or with them. With May Muller, maybe it was a bit too much going on uh, for the voice to land, but I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. So I'm very excited. And as you can see, we are over the moon about this one. And I don't know, are we in the wrong? Do you agree? Do you see the potential here? Or maybe you feel that they are? You've heard it before. I don't know. I'm curious to see. So please comment down below. We will yes. see you there. Yes. Also, remember to like and subscribe because that would really help us. And we love to make these videos. Yes. We also have a shop that you can visit that is linked down below. Yes. Where we sell mugs. Eventually, we will sell some merch. And we have a collection 
of every participant in the final from 2023 grand final grand final mm. and uh, it is limited edition so you can collect and build your own collection yeah it's only for 40 available per, per mug so if you would like to have your favorite artist or your national contribution then you should be quick because it's only 40 and that's it and then you can collect your mug collection from each year uh, of whatever you would like to collect if it's your favorite your national artist the weirdest act of the year whatever <laughs> and create a unique collection so do that and uh, i hope we will uh, see you again yeah till then bye, bye.